anybody tell me what this is? A tripod. This is what I call the tripod of light. Just how a camera balances itself on a tripod, a light too balances itself on three major yet interconnected stands of health, wealth, and wisdom. Fellow Toastmasters and esteemed guests, I'm Rajan, and today I'll be talking about the three major aspects of my life, starting with health. I was born on 31st January 1995, slightly underweight. Both doctors and family members told my mother that I need to be fed well. Since then, until date, she feels that I'm still underweight. The persuasive power of an Indian mother combined with a brilliant culinary skills and getting food delivered on a tap were the reasons I weighed 80 kgs at a point of time. My clothes won't fit me. I would shy away from social gatherings and didn't even want to look myself into the mirror. But then I decided it has to change and happened to read this great book, Atomic Habits. Since then, not a single week has gone by where I haven't worked out. The result of which my fat percentage reduced drastically and muscle mass started increasing. But most importantly, I started to feel so good about myself. Moving on to the second stand, wealth. Born in a Marwadi family, I grew up listening to my dad, granddad, uncles talk mostly about business. And I would be all ears while they would be talking. No wonder, unlike my friends who wanted to be a pilot or a scientist, I always wanted to be an entrepreneur. I received my first check when I was 12 years old for an online freelancing project. Between 18 and 21 years, I explored interesting opportunities in the space of real estate broking, stock market investing, and also founded a spices trading company. When I turned 23, I wanted to pursue an MBA and got into Symbiosis Institute of Business Management, Pune. Having started an agri products company myself, I was sensitized to the challenges of an agri-mobility company. My startup received grants and incubation and I moved to Nashik in my final semester of college where we had Asia's largest farmer producer company as our first client. I remember the time it was my college fest. My favorite artist, Divine, was going to perform. While all my friends back in Pune partied the entire night, I, on the other hand, woke up at 3 a.m. on a chilly winter morning in Nashik to go along with truck drivers to see how their procurement journey works. I and my team, we gave it all. We were working almost 18 hours every single day. One day, I got to know about Tata Motors' startup competition where they would support and fund the winners. Being an early stage startup, we had meager hopes, but deep inside, we really wanted to achieve it. We applied and to our surprise, we got selected. June 18 last year, I made an investment pitch in front of the entire leadership body of Tata Motors. Our work was applauded and we won. And then there was no looking back. In the months to follow, we raised our first funding. Throughout my entrepreneurial journey, I have learned the importance of grit, compounding, getting hands-on experience, but most importantly, the power of self-belief. Moving on to the final stand, wisdom. Throughout my life, all the learnings haven't come from classroom education or textbook, but through my peers who have really helped me grow. I love listening to people's experiences and that is when I found my love for podcasts and audiobooks. Audiobooks and biographies are to me what bedtime stories are to a children. Every night, I would open the Audible app, set timer to 30 minutes, and sleep listening to a biography. Talking about people and experiences, one of the reasons I love Toastmasters is that I get to meet all the like-minded people who are highly motivating and help each other grow. And here I am today, amongst you lovely people on my journey of growth and wisdom. Finally, 
and trying to capture the best of memories by adjusting the balance of health, wealth, and wisdom on the tripod of my life. Thank you so much.